Hello. It is... Was it? Is it the 6th of September? I believe it is. Yeah, the 6th of September of 2022. And I just wanted to make a video just to show a few decks I have made. Mostly just cobbled together. I haven't spent a lot of time. I haven't used any of my wild cards. Still just using whatever cards I've got lying around. Uh, the reason... I actually would have more if I opened my packs. Uh, my 19 Dominaria United packs. But because of the way the duplicates work and all that... Um, it's actually better off if you save them um, until after you've gotten a load from like drafts and stuff. So I'm I'm doing that if you want to in terms of like you know building a collection and all that, which is which is what I'm currently doing. But I have made three decks since then. One of them out of necessity, and two of them just out of. Um, out of experimentation I suppose. Now, Tyler, if you're watching this and you and we haven't had a game since we had our Red Stuffs game, then please turn off this video now because I'm going to be going through these decks and I want, I would rather you experience them through like gameplay. Um, through our our little fun matches. I said little fun matches. <laughs> you know what I mean. Through our 1v1 games. But for everybody else, uh, but if you have, I mean, feel free to watch this if you've already had those games, but uh, for everyone else, you can stick around. Um, now, Red Stuffs 2. I made that out of necessity because Red Stuffs, is, if you, as you can see, if I load that up, It has rotated out. I can't use most of these cards. Well, a lot of them, like the goblins, like that's a key part of the deck. Those are really good. There's some demon bolt, yeah. There's some really decent cards here that I like using. So I've actually made an alternate deck. Now I could use this in historic, which I might do at some point, should I feel like it. But, um. I have made a new standard deck, uh, Red Stuffs 2. Now, this one does have a tiny little bit of white in, uh, as you may notice. Uh, just because I do have a few cards here with uh, white in the kicker cost. So it's really not crucial. And the fact that I is on these types of lands where they enter tapped unless you control two or more other lands, um, they're very likely to come in untapped because it's unlikely that I'm going to be using them early and if I and if I do then I'm probably not going to need them anyway so that that tap effect probably isn't going to have much issue for me but uh, this one isn't as good I don't think as what my other one is so I've got the reinforced Rodin this is like just like an artifact cheap artifact card it comes in then it leaves and most of these things are things that reward artifacts or artifacts entering or things entering in general. So Dragon Spark Reactor benefits from artifacts entering. Uh, a braid is just because I need at least a bit some removal. Uh, it's very much uh, it's very much a rookie mistake to sort of over over commit to a theme which let's be honest I do that quite a lot. But I'm, I'm thinking I might take out these smelters. Oh, I don't know. I could take out these smelters. Um, see, I'm not too sure about that one. Where it attacks alone. Oh, no, that does an artifact thing. See, this one's interesting. It turns my red permanence. This is one of the new Dominaria cards. It turns my red permanence, the red mana cost, into a Phyrexian mana cost. And this is a board wipe should I need it. Oh, it also gives me three devils, which can be... Very nice. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of artifacts, a lot of artifact interaction. I'm not going to go through all the cards, but I'm going to have a couple of games maybe, and then I'll go over my historic decks that I've made. So, 
right uh, I won't do standard ranked I'll just do the standard play it's my only standard deck that I've got oh well outside of the um, the starter decks I guess But yeah, this deck isn't this deck isn't so great when it comes to well, it hasn't been as good as my original red stuff deck, as you can probably tell. I said before that I'm not really good at uh, making giving things names. So I mean, this is a bad hand. No, it's not too bad actually. Let's go with that. I might have a couple of games of this deck, and then I'll show you my other decks. My historic decks. Duress. Oh, oh. a non creature. Oh, well. The only non creature card that was in my hand. M19. Am I playing. Am I playing. Historic here? Plus he's at lifelink. Right. So now all these now these have Phyrexian. Phyrexian mana costs. If I get another red, if I get another mountain, I can cast both of these. Should I want to? Oh, oh. Um, okay. Pay the two life. It deals one damage to target permanent. Oh, I can do this twice. Uh, which one do I want to get rid of? Let's get rid of this one. Yeah, I'll pay the two life and get this one out. Do another one damage to that thing. And then I get both of those triggers. Sorry, I've got a bit of a sore throat right now. I can, I can kill that with this if I want to. Mm. I should have saved it. So what's the reconfigure? Five. But I've only got five. I'll just hard cast it. Uh, 
Eh. No. Let's attack with these two. Okay. What's it give it? Plus two, plus one. Um, I can save it, but no. Actually, yeah, let's just do it. Okay. I mean, I got rid of my other thing, but... Fair dues. I mill three cards, that's fine by me. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a few extra triggers in. Let's attack with both of these. And if they block, I can kill it with this thing. Yeah, four damage to you, and an extra four damage to you. It's worked out. Aha! Right, well, that was that deck working good. It doesn't always work. Sometimes, actually, I'll, I'll, probably, I'll give another game. I'll do one more game, I think, with that deck. I might try two games with each deck, but... Yeah, because sometimes, sometimes it messes up. Quite often, in fact. Right, so you've got this one here. What's oh, that thing again? Okay, so we can get some early attacks in. See, this thing's good for artifact triggers. It's also good for the uh, witty Ross Master to get the. Um, to get the uh, creature entry trigger. What is that? Jeez, all that for two mana. I'm gonna bring it out, but I'm gonna. Ah, this is gonna be a sacrifice deck, I guess. Because they've got stuff that triggers when it when they die.
Oh dear. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I think I've lost this. Getting pretty powerful here. Um. Oh, I don't like having to channel it, but I think I'm going to have to. I mean, it's going to get itself a zombie. Oh, and that pops that up, of course. Right, well... Do I want to pay two life to get a thing on this? Uh, why doesn't it, why isn't it highlighted? Oh well, of course I can. I can at least do one point damage to them as well. Ah, uh, uh, it's it's neat. It's a nice little setup, but it's too. It's too late, although I can sort of it's alright, I can I can board wipe. Oh this has got first strike though. That hasn't got anything, has it? I ain't gonna prevent the damage. I'm gonna have to Yeah, you can create whatever you like. I mean, I can create three one one devils when it does damage to attack. Oh, let's have a look at this. I can kill. I can do board wipe, which is obviously going to be good in my favor. Three one one devils with when it dies, it deals one damage to target creature. It's going to trigger three of these. Um, da. It seems all right, but oh, before I do that. Oh no, I won't. Yeah, let's board wipe. I don't use board wipes much in this game. Oh! Okay, I, I clearly didn't account for that. And why did it not... Oh no, because the Fraxian man is gone. Um, anyway, let's... Yeah, that's a thing. They've got lots of death triggers. Right. Yeah, I think... I mean, I can get this out next turn, I guess. But that I can't. Yeah. Um. How much do I want to? Five, six, seven. I can get this out kicked. Does that give me an extra one, one? But then I can't get this up. Yeah, they've won it either way. Whatever. Let's just get that out. Oh, it gives me two one ones. Of course, they've got haste. Oh, and they're flying anyway. Why are they flying? Have you got something that gets zombies you control are flying? Right, okay. Well, let's just channel this for no reason. Okay. Okay. So that was my Red Stuffs 2 deck, and I'm going to go through um, my other two decks, my new two historic decks, just briefly. I'm not going to, actually I'm not going to bother going into the deck menu, I'm just going to play with them. So 
Standard player, let's go to this option hidden by the the recording bar thing of a bobby, if I can. Uh historic player. So we have Monster Mash and lots of small guys. Yeah. Uh so Monster Mash is basically the Again, I've just cobbled it together. It's not very good in terms of removal. Like that is, I do have some removal in it, but it doesn't really work in my favour. As much as I thought it could, or it hasn't been. Um, and it's very, very graveyard based, as you can probably tell by the name Monster Mash. It's a graveyard smash. So a lot of the stuff is about getting things into the. Um, into the graveyard. So that powers up with the graveyard. That powers up with the graveyard. That powers up uh, everything. I think every card in this deck powers up. Um. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's get the tap land out first. Then I'll get that out for green. Uh, he's tapping at the window. Yeah, I mean this deck. <clears throat> this deck, um. <sighs> can get really powerful, but. Can is a key word there. So put you into my hand, and then then I get those two in the graveyard with flashback enabled. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I'll get I'll get another creature. Or not. Let's get three lands into the graveyard, which that, that would have been nice. Cause I am low on lands. Darn it. Ah. I don't have any black. None. Okay. Well, I'm... Um Quite screwed. Aha! Another land, right. Still no black though. Um Yeah, let's get that in my at my hand. Now what's that coming back under? The zero one. And what cards would those be? might just use that to get that out of the way, you know, is that if I've got five cars in graveyard? Yeah. Right, okay. Just, I mean... Right, gotta draw a card and discard a card.
get rid of that tapping on the window. It's got a flashback, so that's alright. Okay, it's starting to turn out my favour, although I need to check what this does. Oh, jeez. They've got some big creatures, I guess. Uh, well, yep, there's one of them, for example. Gee, I wonder. No creatures in my graveyard. <sighs> I don't particularly like any of these cards. Right, go take a risk with this. Come on. No. See, I've got no cards in my graveyard at all. That makes these abilities so much worse. I mean, look, they're just going to keep triggering that ability. I mean, what, ch what chance do I have? Like how many cards? I've got 12 cards in my graveyard and none of them are creatures. Meaning all these things that benefit from creatures being in graveyards. Well, I don't know what's happening, but... One thing I do know... Is that I have lost. Right, let's give this deck another, another, another spin. Hopefully I can get to work in my favour a bit more this time. Well, they've got a big deck. For some reason. Okay. Well, that's coming out as black. These these lands... Oh, it's chucking it down raining outside. Uh, anyway, these lands are really good, these, flips, these flip uh, pathway lands. Okay then. So they're creating a lot of treasures. Let's get this thing out. We can start getting some saprolings and maybe make this writhing necromass cheaper. Or consuming blob. Yep, come on, mill me three. Well, there was a creature there, so I get that. They're going to start building up with some dragons here, that's where they've got all these treasures. Got no lands from that.
And immediately they get that thing out. Now, if I can get the... Uh, was it like trapped in the cemetery or whatever it's called? Probably won't. No, but I can get this out. They can still fly right over me though. If I can get another thing, I can get this consuming blood. But I want what I'd like is the trapped in the cemetery. I think that's what it's called. Oh. It's a big ability. Oh, okay. And again, right now, if I don't get trapped in the cemetery, which I'm very unlikely to get, oh well, I should. <laughs> oh, I've only got one access to to blue. See? Like that's That's nice, but it's not gonna help me out at all. Not now. Because they can just fly right over me. Okay. Well. Yeah, that deck, I mean. I'm sure it's actually doing well. Which it can do. Um, but the next deck that I'm going to show is the one I've had more success with. Is it lots of small guys? You can tell. You can probably tell what the point of this deck is. <laughs> like I say, I don't really like uh, naming naming decks much, but let's see if lots of small guys can give us lots of small guys. Yeah. This, I think this one's a bit better with the removal because I can do five damage to attacking creatures with that. Um, I can. Wait, I've got pacifism. Let's bring this out. See, this, it's affected by alchemy, steadfast unicorn. That's historic for you. Oh, I can foretell. No, I won't though. I'll probably bring this guy out. This guy. When I say when I say guy, I do mean that like in a gender neutral way. When I'm like in this context at least. Whenever a player or an opponent 
Well, there is a card here that can give me some... That gives me a card draw, so... That could do harm to me. I'm going to foretell you. Yeah, I once had a... Uh... Oh, when was it? It was M15, I think. In the M15 days, I had a... A, um, a black-white deck. Yeah, you know what? I'll pass the vis in both of them, I think. Oh, actually, hold on. No, I won't. What's that give? Plus one, plus one. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. So, I'll attack with everyone. And I'll declare blocker. Yay! Nice! Nice! Okay! This deck, although both of these historic decks are things I sort of just cobbled together, this deck does as as works more in my favour. It's done me well, more successfully. I've noticed that when you gain experience, a little pop up, uh, the XP little symbols in italics now, where it wasn't before. See the quilter. And they've got a 77 card deck. Um I do love Ellisnor. That's very nice. But I've only got two. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> Death touch. I don't want to have to waste my pacifism on just a, on a one drop. Rat, you can do a lot of menace. Okay. Am I not gonna?
Am I not going to get any more lands? Yeah, clearly that. Oh, I discard a card. Oh, get rid of that one. Right, I'm not getting lands. This is... <laughs> Okay. Okay, whatever. Let's just... They'll, they'll have something, maybe. Or are they bluffing? No, they're not bluffing. I do like Alice Core, but I think I'm too, too far gone at this point. They can steal that, can't they? Can they? They can. If they really wanted to. Yeah, see. I'm gonna make X equal one, just <laughs> Although no, I could have ah Well, I mean, I can you hear something on watch that rat calling? Oh, weird names, these. I think they're like the Baldur's Gate ones. It's like, you do this, you do that. Oh, well, they're not actually attacking. Well, it's got menace. I could attack with both, but no. I need... I mean, I can kill two things if I wanted to. <laughs> okay.
Please attack with your 9 1. I mean, it's got menace. So. They know I can't block with both of them, so. If they attack with it, then they know that I'm gonna have to block. Like, sacrifice both my things as far as they're concerned. But they don't know. I mean, they might think I've got to took up my sleeve, which I do, of course. I just don't have the lands. But they're really unsure of what to do. Time out used. Are they roping? What's up with this? What's going on? Well, well, what's going on? Do 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 Ding ding. That's an old reference. You get points if you recognise that reference. Are they just not doing anything? Am I going to win by them just not doing anything? I mean, they're far from lost. I don't know why, unless they have to, like, unless they're AFK for whatever reason. Okay, well there's nothing I can do. Flying Vigilant. Oh, I could just attack with that. It's got Vigilant. Oh, I'm an idiot. I mean, they're not doing anything. I think I'm going to win just by them timing out. I mean, the looking around... There you go. Maybe they were just thinking. But like... Ah. Well. That is actually causing me trouble because they're going to keep spawning loads of rats. <laughs> oh, hold on. Three damage to you. I mean, I mean, 
I've got no chance. <laughs> no chance at all. I think I might have one more game. Yeah, let's have give it one more one more try with that deck. Igor, he got capital or two. Right. Well, my cards are a bit expensive. But that's okay. I don't like it when cards are given like new artwork because I find it confusing. Because I recognise cards by the artwork. I don't remember the names for the most part. Like I can I can recognise I can be like, oh yeah, that that giant ogre that has this ability and all that, but I don't I won't know what it's called. Okay, I can sort of set something off here, if they'll let me. attack with that but then they'll kill me they'll, they'll, they'll kill the witty Ross master and I want that out because I want to be able to I want that out to be able to stack up the effects right okay I see. Well, this could get out of hand. This looks like it's going to be one of those games where it's, um... You know, um... Let's... Attack with just this guy. Oh, didn't take into account that's got vigilance. So things just pass me by. I don't actually um, think about a lot of these things. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is going to get out of hand, I think.
what is the thing that whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control you gain one life right I'm going to do that and I'm going to create um, is it whenever you attack which opponent create a 1-1 one, one like you when that's tapped and attack in ok um, I'll just throw my 1-1 one, one their way and they'll probably kill both of them Probably not a good idea, actually. But I'm going to use this next turn. I'm going to try and... My, my goal is I want to do 3 damage to the Impassioned Orator. Oof. Brutal. Oh, I didn't see that. It was a creature. Oh, annoying. Annoying. Okay, how much have I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, And I'll foretell that. <sighs> that is bad. Should I? I'm thinking I might go up for an all out attack next turn. I don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to attack? Right, if I let this. Okay. They probably could have held out for a bit longer, you know. One, two, three, ten, fifteen, right. Okay. Probably could have blocked some of the big ones, but I'm going to try going all out. And they're getting a bunch of life from that. Yeah. Um. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, I can do that for two. Right. 
Um. Okay, let's. Uh, it's it's not gonna it, it's not gonna work, but let's just let's just do it. Oh. I'm I'm pretty sure they've just won this. Cause unless I I mean I've got a bit of life link, but I'm gonna get like four life from it. Let's just see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> it's not I'm not guaranteed to lose this this fight, but uh or am I? They attack with No, I think I am guaranteed to lose. They gain indestructible well when they attack. Okay. So one hold on, so I can block three. Okay, well. So they're on 19. Can I... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No. Oh, of course, I've got the two of those. Forgot about that. Yeah, and they have one. <laughs> well, that was fun. So, yeah, that's just me showcasing these decks I've made. And Tyler, I am looking forward to uh, having games against you with these decks, see how it, see how they go. I just cobbled them together, just sort of like, what's the thing I want to go with? And I just found something and I was just like, yep, that sort of works, that sort of works. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.